Hi, my name is uh, JC Lopez. I'm with the Cloud Storage and Data Services BU. And in this video, I will show you how you can back up an, an application uh, that sits, that uses uh, OpenShift Container Storage for persistent storage and how to restore that application. Um, so what we will do is that we'll, we'll show you in this video how to create an instant backup and do an instant restore without any schedule. And we'll also show you how to create what is known as a backup policy in Casting K10 uh, to schedule your backups uh, so that you can later do uh, a restore. So before we start, I just wanted to let you know that I've created a sample application. It's a WordPress application that uses a, a SQL database in the back end so that we basically have something to backup and restore. I put a few, a few blog posts in there. So that's the website for the application. And this is the WordPress administration uh, window where I have created um, two articles, two posts, and there's still the original one, the yellow world after the uh, installation. And we'll, we will use those articles as a witness that we can actually do a backup and do a restore. So here we are in the casting dashboard. Um, so our application, the namespace we created is known as, um, it's just called WordPress. And uh, we're first gonna show you how to do an instant backup and restore, no schedule. So first we'll go and, and look for our application. So we can uh, go into the application tile and uh, filter. And here we have two options. We can create a policy and we'll do that later. What we wanna do first is to show you that you can just like on the spot, do a backup of an application. The only thing you have to do is just like uh, create a snapshot and it tells you manually create a restore point for this application. So the only thing you have to do to start uh, the backup is just click the snapshot. You can enter uh, a few options and um, that's where they are. So what to do in case you have errors, what do you want to do uh, in terms of snapshot? And in our particular case, we're going to use all the default, which is basically snapshot everything. And you just click snapshot. Once we do that, if we go back to the dashboard, we see that we started uh, backup. So let the backup run and we'll come back and see what we can do with this backup and basically do a, a restore. And this backup and restore will use a snapshot that is internal to our OpenShift cluster. So here we are, our uh, backup is now complete. So we had one total action that was our backup, completed action. And you have here the backup that we, that we did. You can actually click on it and it will show you the details. So um, total snapshot, we had like uh, two PVCs. Uh, total volume is 40 gigabytes. It took about 33 seconds. Remember we use snapshot, so it's really uh, almost in an, an instant backup uh, specifically. So let's have a look to see about the PVCs that we were using in our application, uh, just to show you that we were using OpenShift Container Storage and we did leverage the snapshot capabilities to do that. So we are back in our terminal window. Um, so my project is, uh, if I do an OC git pod, so I am in my WordPress, I have two pods running, one the WordPress, that's the front end, one WordPress MySQL, which is the actual MySQL database. If I do an OC get PVC, we can see that the two PVCs we have, we have like two uh, claims, one for MySQL, one for the WordPress application itself, and they're both using uh, an OpenShift Container Storage uh, storage class. In that particular case, the one that is based on RBD because both claims are RWO. If I do an OC get volume snapshots, we'll see that we have like two snapshots that were taken, one for each PVC, and we can also see what is known to casting K10. So when you create a manual backup or a scheduled backup, you create what is known as a restore point in casting K10. So we see that we have a manual backup that was created. And that's basically what we will use in an instant to actually do a restore. But before we do the restore, we're going to go and delete an article inside our uh, WordPress application to prove 
that we actually really do the restore. So here we are. This is the um, the WordPress application uh, dashboard. What we're going to do is that we're going to simply delete that particular uh, article. Hello world. That's one. So we trash it. We have two left. And we're also going to delete the second one, the uh, CNCF membership one. So we're left with only one post. And what we will do now is that we're going to go back to the casting dashboard and we are going to trigger a manual restore. How do we do that? We go into the applications. We find our application again. That's the one. And we see that now we have here uh, a little one next to resource saying that we do have one restore point. And what is cool with casting K10 is that you can actually do a restore in place, which is the application is running. And we will show you that once you do that, we're going to just like stop the pods and we will just like do the restore. The only thing you have to do, you select the restore point. That's it. And tell you that the one that we created today, application name, we want to restore to the same namespace. Uh, remember the application is running. So we just like simply click restore. You confirm that you want to do the restore. And following that, we'll head back to the terminal window to show you what is happening in the back end. So here we are back in our WordPress workspace. And as you can see, we are recreating the pods. So we basically stop the application. We are now recreating the application the application is running and the only thing that we're going to have to do is now simply go back to our console and that console is going to be the actual console that we use for the uh, WordPress admin. So remember we had only one post left. I'm going to refresh the page and here I am. I'm back with my restore. Uh, from a snapshot. So we simply use the OpenShift container storage snapshot capabilities to do this backup and restore. So we are back in our uh, casting kit in dashboard. So remember we had the original backup. This is the manual restore we did. So now we're going to show you how you can actually create a backup policy to schedule uh, backup of an application. So you simply click on the unmanaged with filter find our application and we're going to do a create policy so you have the option so that you enable the export remember the external endpoint in the uh, previous video where we configured an external f3 object store so that's the one we're going to use so that we push the backups to the f3 object store so that they can be used uh, as a safety or in case of disaster recovery. We will keep the same retention for the exported snapshots. So no custom. So we will export snapshot data, not only the references. And we just have to then click the actual create policy. Once we do that, so we have this policy that was created. So you see that we have a snapshot 15 past the hour and we will export. So our policy will contain two pieces, do the snapshot and then export the snapshot. Now, very important for the DR, you have here this little uh, show import details. In case you want to do a DR restore, you will need to copy this character string. And this character string is actually an encoded version of the path to your backup data inside the object store. So that what we'll do so that we are ready for my next video, which will show you how to do a disaster recovery restore. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard so I can keep it for later in the next video. And the only thing we have to do now is to go back to the dashboard and we'll just have to wait for the backup to complete together with the export. So we see the activity. 
So we see that the, rest, the backup took place and now we are exporting the actual backup and we'll come back uh, later to check on the completion of the export. So remember, the application is now compliant and if you wanna do a restore, well, guess what? Uh, now you can click restore, just exactly what we did. But look at that, now we have like the manual, remember the manual backup we did, that's the one we have here. But now we also have the snapshot and the exported snapshot that we created through the policy. So when you click that entry, when you will do a restore, you will have two options. Either you do the restore using the local snapshot, that's just like, you know, quick mistake, you wanna do a quick restore, or you can actually use the, the snapshot that was exported to the object store. And basically it's exactly the same thing we did when we did the restore from the manual backup. You just have the choice either to use the snapshot or to use the exported snapshot. So this concludes the, uh, this video showing you how you can do a backup and a restore, either manual or create a policy, and how once you have created the policy, uh, the backup policy, how you can select from where you want to restore, and also show you that you had the ability to export the snapshot to an external object store. And uh, the next video that I will record that will be posted will show you how to do a disaster recovery restore uh, using the data that I exported in this video.